Reviews, Lisa's Movie Reviews and Shares. It has been a while since I made a video, and I'm very sorry. Um, I am in school, and I've been having my health problems, so it's been hard for me to make videos. And I thought I had a little time, I thought I'd try to make some small movie reviews. Um, I'm hoping that I can start doing, making more of these videos a little bit more detailed. Uh, please forgive me. <laughs> I don't have um, a lot of the time to do that right now. And I'm ho hoping maybe around in July I can probably do more videos longer and more detailed movie reviews and shares. So the first video I'm going to start with, I hope you guys can see me in my camera. And oh, also that I'm going to try to get a new camera. But my first uh, movie review I'm going to do now is an underrated film for me called Mary Riley. Julia Roberts. I hate this poster <laughs> on DVD cover. I just never liked this one. But this is Mary Riley. It is about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And this is the Blu-ray. Beautiful screen on this one. This is the Blu-ray and... I love the Blu-ray as it comes to like the picture quality. And I like the DVD because it has one, uh, two special features, and that's it. And I'll get I'll get into that stuff. Uh, anyways, so Mary Riley is about the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde story. This is based on a book by an uh, author named Valerie Martin, and it's about Mary Riley, who is a maid, a scullery maid, in Dr. Jekyll's house, and she's a witness to the events when it comes to Mr. Hyde being born, created, and. And I say this is underrated because this got a lot of bad reviews and mostly because of Julia Roberts and her accent or lack of Irish accent. Uh, that didn't really bother me much, but yes, I, I took notice of it because she goes in and out of her Irish accent the entire film. But it doesn't hamper me watching the movie at all. I can't, sometimes you can watch a movie like, oh, I can't stand it, turn it off. See, I'm not like that. There, I think there's very few movie performances in a film that I'll be like, I can't stand this performance, I'm turning this off. I've not yet come across that, or maybe I have, and I'm just not thinking about it. But this is not one of those performances. I do agree that Julia Roberts kind of seems miscasted in this role as Mary Riley, an Irish scullery maid in England. I mean, first it was supposed to be directed by Tim Burton. I'm not sure when Nona Ryder was in it, but then they had the idea of Daniel Day-Lewis as Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, and Uma Thurman as Mary Riley. I'm not sure how that would have worked, because, you know, it's just what could have been. But this is what we got. And I'm not going to talk crap anymore about Julia Roberts' performance. I mean, she's in it. Who else was going to play it? I don't know. But my favorite performance is John Malkovich. He's one of my favorite actors. And I thought he did a damn good job as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Of course, the, the two performances are vastly different. Obviously they're, obviously, they're supposed to be. Dr. Jekyll is a gentleman. Um, he's not crude or crass. He doesn't want to hurt anybody. Um, but he's got a lot of demons, and you can tell. And he's very sad and conflicted. Mr. Hyde is very devil-may-care, very crude, crass, um, he's a killer. I don't know if I'm going to make this a spoiler review because I'd like people to watch this and make their own opinions about the movie. Um, but, you know, I think people know from, I have not read these books, the original books in the Mary Riley book, but I think it's not a stretch to say that Mr. Hyde's a killer. And so he, he, he hurt several people in this this movie. Uh, but the thing is, at first, when I watched this many years ago, I almost got off-putted, if that's how you say it, by his performances, uh, Mr. Hyde, because I was like, you were just weird. You're off the wall. I mean, it's just odd. But that's the whole point. They're total opposites. Mr. Dr. Jekyll is much more well-spoken. Um, like I said, he's more gentlemanly. Whereas Mr. Hyde doesn't give a shit, you know, he doesn't, his collar's undone, and he's just, he, he's very, he comes on to her really crudely, and it's just, it's just kind of like, they're supposed to be polar opposites, but what Mr. Hyde is violent, Dr. Jekyll is not. And that was the whole point, because Dr. Jekyll wanted to be free, and to be this kind of man who didn't give a shit what anyone or the whole world thought about him, and that's why he created Dr., I'm sorry, Mr. Hyde. 
And, yeah. This is one of the movies I really liked. And it was one of the movies that I just... I want more from it. I just want more. Some of the some of the um, scenes of violence were not really explained, and why it happened, and why the person who did it did it. Um, they shot three different endings to this movie. They shot the movie, the ending that's in the movie, and then they shot an ending. Well, spoiler. Don't listen if you don't want to hear about the other endings. I've never seen the other endings, but they said they did shoot these endings. Another ending was that she stays with Mr. Hyde, which to me is like, that don't make sense because she was scared of Mr. Hyde. I don't see her staying with Mr. Hyde. And then they shot an ending that she stays with Dr. Jekyll, which makes more sense because her chemistry, chemistry with uh, Dr. Jekyll is much more real and genuine you know, with Mr. Hyde, it was more like he, he could easily seduce her, but she was scared of him, and that's not healthy. I mean, part of the movie, people are saying that she's not a stupid character, so why should she do stupid things in the movie? Well, if she didn't do stupid things in the movie, then we wouldn't have a movie or a plot, so she kind of had to. But, like I said, I wanted more from this. I really want to see those endings. I looked in my old, old, old premiere magazines, and they had bad reviews for the movie, but there are pictures of the ending shot. And it's like, oh, I want to see those so bad. I was hoping so much with the Blu-ray that they would have deleted scenes. Because Stephen Frears, who directed this, he also directed uh, Dangerous Liaisons with John Malkovich, that... Um, he said there was a longer version of this, like most films are, and they cut it. I just wish it would be like uh, really Scott and always make like a director's cut of his movies. But there's, alas, there is not. So this Blu-ray doesn't have any spe special features. This one has a small making of featurette, which obviously when you see featurettes, making ofs, you see a lot of scenes that you didn't see in the movie. And I was like, damn it, I want to see that. It's just... I just wish I would see the director's cut and the alternate endings. To me, I, as a fan of this, I, I would so love that. But as it goes, um, you know, the, the acting is oh, pretty good. I mean, John Malkovich, like I said, did a great job as Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. I think Julia Roberts did the best she could, even though, you know, like people complain about her accent goes in and out. But honestly, it didn't bother me. I mean, I, I notice it. But I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm watching this for the story. Um, it also has uh, Michael Gambon in it. He plays Mary's father in flashbacks. See if you like that. And Glenn Close is in this too. She has a small part in this as a, a brothel, madam. Really, really strange. I mean, she looks strange, but whatever. You make your own... A, Make your own opinions about it. If you've seen it, let me know if you have or what do you think of the movie. Um, what do you think of the performances? Did it bug you about her accent? Because most of the reviews I read, it complained about her accent or lack thereof. Which, can't you just watch the story? I'll say, well, actually, I'll point out one thing. The actor named George Cole plays the lead butler, or the main butler, um... Mr. Poole, he got on my dang nerve in this movie. He was constantly on her case. <laughs> no matter what she did, he was a jerk. So, I mean, really, got on my nerves. But, other than that, you know, well, some plot points, they didn't really discuss why Dr. Jekyll went from being a doctor and a teacher just not doing anything. Why, I mean, obviously we know, kind of know why he was creating trying to create Mr. Hyde, but it never discussed really why he felt this way, and some of the scenes were like when Mr. Hyde is created, I mean, by the way, when you finally see him created, it's actually a rather cool scene. I didn't think it was that bad. Some people say, well, it's dated. You make up your own uh, judgments about that, but I thought it was a neat scene, but with Mr. Hyde, it's kind of like he shows up and it's already established he's there instead of being like, well, how did he create his own personality? Does he know where he's at? Does he know who these people are? To me, it's like, how does he converse with Dr. Jekyll if they're the same person? So that kind of confused me, but I guess I should read the books. I, I have not read the book, the, uh, the movie's based on. I have not read the book that's about Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. 
So, as far as rating this movie, I want to say it's a B plus. I mean, it could, like I said, I want more from this so bad. If I did have a lot, which I probably never get, I'd probably never do director's cut or do lead scenes, but I would give it an A because strictly for John Malkovich, who did such a great job in this role. He's such an underrated actor, but I'm going to give it a B plus. I would recommend you watching it and checking it out. Uh, I think it's relatively easy to find in stores or if you have Netflix. I don't know if it's on Netflix. I have no idea. But I think it's relatively easy to find. So check it out. If you've already seen it, let me know. If you plan to see it, let me know if you do. Thanks for watching. Bye.